Hi guys, this is video number one. The purpose of this video is not to show you the working of the Hamlin radio, but it is to show you how to do a 100% solid state conversion of one of these old bolt anchors. I've successfully converted uh, Hamlin HQ 100, 110, 145, and 170. And uh, I have also converted Halicrafters S85, SX99, and SX100 to 100% solid state. All of the old bolt anchors uh, are candidate for conversion to solid state. It takes a lot of work and a lot of patience, and it is not for the faint-hearted. It's not for a novice to undertake. So if it's your first project, uh, don't even try it. If you're an experienced tech, yeah, you can come out with a 100% converted radio. This particular radio is a model uh, 110A. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a 100A. Uh, I got it off of eBay, and it uh, basically is uh, just the way that it came in. Um, I haven't changed anything on it. Still has the clock. And if you look over inside, you're going to see that it has uh, 10 tubes. It has uh, all the original stuff. It has the, uh, the big uh, electrolytic uh, capacitor. It has the uh, large uh, power transformer. Um, look at the uh, big tuning coil, uh, tuning capacitors. A lot of tuning coils. And it also has uh, three IF cans. These are 455 KC. Let me show you the underside. We'll take a brief look. This is the underside of the radio. As you see, it's uh, crammed full of parts. Now, when you do a solid state conversion, you're going to remove most of the parts in this area up top here around the uh, IF uh, cans and so forth. The middle part of the radio where you have the uh, oscillator and uh, RF tuning, we're going to leave that intact. We're not going to take those things out. At the lower side here, um, we're going to remove the power transformer. We're going to remove the big choke, the big electrolytic, all the big uh, resistors. Also, we're going to remove uh, these uh, large uh, disc capacitors. Uh, the replacement capacitors will be small. These big ones just get in the way and uh, they, they're uh, uh, 600 volt capacitors. We just don't need those. Okay. This is a solid state model. It's, uh, it also is a Hamlin HQ100A. It has been uh, fully converted to solid state. Um, it, uh, the dial lights have been replaced with LEDs. They're a little blanked out right now. Let me get down close and you'll see. That's the dial on the left. That's the dial on the right. The LEDs are a little bright. And there we go. And I'll show you that it has no tubes. The big transformer has been uh, removed and it has been replaced with a, a small power supply, 24 volt. Also the electrolytic capacitor has been removed. No tubes as I said. There's one module here which is plug up. I was forced to make a plug up module because you cannot ac access the uh, parts on the uh, bottom of the tube socket because they're, the tuning uh, mechanism is all in the way. Uh, these two, however, on the HQ100A model, uh, I can access the bottom of those two sockets so I didn't have to make modules. Now on the 100 model, without the A, I had to make modules for those because you cannot access the bottom. Okay, and uh, I'll show you that it works. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, 40 meters. No, this is uh, this is 20 meters. Got 
got a little CW. The band is not too good today. There's a weak signal from Puerto Rico. Anyway, you get the idea. Yes, it does work on all bands. Um, we're going to turn it up, show you the underside. That's what it looks like on the bottom. Let's see if we can get a little bit better picture here. Uh, you see the um, audio transformer has been placed here at the uh, bottom. Uh, you will see that some of the parts have been removed down here in this lower section. The tuning section is intact except for a couple of changes. All of the stuff up here in the upper section has been changed. It is now solid state with transistors tacked on. It's not the neatest job because um, uh, I leave the leads long so that I can pull them back off and uh, don't have to destroy the parts. Uh, the audio board is up here in the corner. You can see the audio board right there. I buy those off of eBay. And, uh, and that's it. It's a working radio.